You're going to have doubts. You're going to have a lot of trials and tribulations and challenges. You always have a moment in your life where the direction you're going, you will have to make a decision to keep going or you turn back. Change, look of a pain, pulling a mob, pushing a train. I'll never stop, stick to a lane, pick up the pieces and go rearrange. Yeah. I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test. Yeah. Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening next? Yeah. You got the venom, a tangible weapon, no If you've ever had a moment in your life that you have measured yourself and come up short, if you've ever poured yourself into an individual, a company, a place, or thing, and didn't get the results you expected, then this one is for you. When life is beating you down and you lose your job, you lose your money, you lose your spouse, you feel like you can't do it anymore. When you feel that pain creeping in, you feel that defeat, you must remind yourself of how tough you really are. This is not the first time you've gone through pain. This is not the first time you've felt the sting of failure. You've got to remember that every time you're going through adversity, it is making you stronger. You are not being burned, you are being forged. You're being forged into a beast. But it's not going to be easy. No, it's going to try and rip you apart. It's going to break you down before you can have the opportunity to build yourself back up. You're going to feel overwhelmed and stressed out of your mind and don't know what to do next to solve the problems you're facing. But when you can put yourself in a position where you decide that you won't give yourself a way out, you won't allow the darkness to win. You won't accept failure as an outcome. One way or another, you will find a way through it. It's going to be a dog fight. It's going to be rough as hell. It's going to knock you to your knees and keep beating you. But you got to make up in your mind that it is not over until I win. I will get a reward for the pain that I go through. I will not stop in the middle of the process. I will not be defeated. I will not be destroyed. I will take everything that happens in my life and I will allow the pain to push me to greatness. You will not break me. You will not stop me. The only way I lose is if I quit. To become a champion, you got to endure immense challenges. If you can't withstand challenges, you'll never be a champion. If giving up tempts you when your legs give out, don't even begin. If the easy route tempts you when the pressure hits, don't even bother taking the first step. If you don't believe doors will be slammed in your face a million times or you won't face rejection, don't even embark on the journey. For me though, every rejection fuels me. Why? Because I am not a failure. I'm just one more attempt away from success. If I just keep trying and keep trying and keep trying, I will eventually win. Life can't deny you forever. Life can't keep telling you no forever. If you are relentless, at some point you will break through. I refuse to veer to the left or veer to the right or gradually get things together. No, that's not gonna happen. I'm getting ready to turn this whole situation around. 180 degrees. On the other side of your pain is freedom. Opportunity comes in chaos. A chance to stand up, a chance to get it right, a chance to make a U-turn. I need you to find a reason to keep going. And if you can find a reason to keep going, I know that you'll be strong enough to get through it because every human has what it takes to persevere through whatever they're facing if they decide to. Push through it. Tragedy and trials come to everybody, but only the strong survive. Most people keep running away from all these obstacles and they don't realize that it is the obstacles that are going to take them to the next level. Those are the things that are going to push you to break through. So every time you feel that pain, you feel that heat, you feel that pressure, remind yourself that this is what is going to make me better. This is going to redefine me. This is going to make me into an unbreakable winner. I need you to have mental toughness. When that thing you're up against tells you to quit, I want you to look at it in the eye and say, I will break you before you break me. I will not be destroyed. I will outlast you. I'm tougher than you. I can take it. I got what it takes to win. You will not defeat me.
And some of you are not successful because every single time you run up against a trial, every time you run up against a tribulation, you stop trying and you cut off beast mode. And what I'm here to tell you is in the middle of the struggle, in the middle of the chaos, you got to tell that thing, I will not leave without that goal. I will not leave this opportunity until I'm successful. It is not over until I win. I am not phenomenally skilled, but I am phenomenally willed. I will not give up. I will not surrender. I will not quit. I'm not successful because I'm the best. I'm successful because life tried to break me and it couldn't. I outlasted all the struggles, all the hurt, all the haters, all the failures, and I kept getting back up and facing it head on without losing enthusiasm for the dream. However hard life tries to hit you, I need you to hit twice as hard back. Match whatever level of energy the enemy is putting up and destroy it. You've invested too much to quit. You've made too many sacrifices to give up. Get a reward for all the hell you've been through. I don't care what's the circumstance. I don't care what's the situation. You face the challenge, you put it on your back and you say, Roger that. And you continue to execute on your mission, on your goal, on your plans, on your dream. When you come up against that thing, you got to be prepared to outperform that thing. And you got to make up in your mind before you get to that challenge, before you get to that cancer, before you get to that sickness, before you get to that battle, you got to be mentally ready to take on whatever life is going to hit you with. And you got to see yourself getting through this and past this. You got to know you can handle anything this world can throw at you. And you got to make up in your mind that I will not leave without getting what I want. The battle is not over until I win. It's not easy out there. People are always saying you can't, that you should, that you're not smart enough, not good enough. This world, it, it beats you up again and again until eventually most people, they just, just stop trying. But you're not like that. You're a fighter. You always have been. Everybody in your life will have a turn back moment. No matter who you are, you're going to have such a period in your life where it seems like it's not working. You're going to have doubts. You're going to have a lot of trials and tribulations and challenges. You always have a moment in your life where the direction you're going, you will have to make a decision to keep going or you turn back. The sad thing is, the average person turns back. It's hard living. Life is hard. Life is not easy at all. There's going to be challenges. You're going to get beat down. And that tough situation is making you want to stop. And you will fail sometimes. And that's okay. That's okay as long as you get back up. Take that next step, keep moving forward, and no matter what, do not quit. I don't care how low you are. I don't care what you have done. I don't care what you have experienced. I don't care how devastated your life might appear to be. The shambles it might be in. Wherever you are in life, ladies and gentlemen, you've got comeback power. Everything you're going through, is preparing you for what you ask God for. You just gotta quit tripping while you're in the process because the process is necessary. You may not see it now, but when he gets you on the other side of it, you're gonna see exactly why it went that way. And you're gonna be okay with it. Pull yourself together and quit tripping cause you in the process. God is processing you. He ain't through with you. If he was through with you, you would not wake up in the morning. Tough times never last, but tough people do. And you are tough. You made us some special stuff. There was nobody here before you. You brought something here that was not here before you showed up. Guess what? Nobody's gonna do your work for you. Nobody's gonna write your book for you. That has been given to you to do. You want your stuff? It's necessary you take responsibility for it, that you make it happen, that you don't give up, that you don't take any objection or disappointment or defeats personally.
that you keep on keeping on, that you don't decide that I can't make it because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, that you realize that's a part of the program. And here's something you've got to resolve. Say this to yourself every day. Not over till I win. Not over till I get through. Not over till I get over. Not over till I get what I want. That's how you got to do that. You've got to have that kind of courage, that type of determination. If you want to make it happen, it's you. We all want to be a beast, but do you know what a beast is? A beast is someone who can go through hell and be grateful that their legs are working. A beast is someone who's lost everything, but is grateful for the opportunity to get everything back and get even more. A beast is someone who can hit rock bottom and can say, Roger that. I'm gonna harness this sh It is only up from here. I'm gonna come back even stronger. Put there to make you sit. Listen to what they give. Don't ask questions, shut your lid. Yeah, don't ask questions, shut your lid. I need to run away from this and go get off.